Hello and welcome back to my Wolfenstein, the Old Blood, Uber Difficulty video walkthrough. This is chapter 8, the, uh, the final chapter. And um, this is going to go very quick for a while. Um, a lot of it is just going to be running and it's got, it's time based. you got to be quick for a lot of it. So straight away, if you can follow my path, we're going down here and it's a secret room. So you want to stick to the left and come down this wee room. You shouldn't miss it to be honest with you and there's a gold piece here. So there is and as soon as we come out here you just want to walk on don't bother about the boys to your side or the the generals even if they do see you, it doesn't matter because we're only coming up here so like it you know it makes no sense there's there's really no drawback to even being seen so you may as well do it Um, so we're already in the next section but uh, as soon as we go down here there's gonna be one guard and he transforms into uh, one of the zombies I just don't get you know, it's, it's kind of strange, but um, I can't believe this is the last video now for this already. It's came so quick, two days of recording, but uh, there's two guys to our left here. Once you kill them, there's another one. Um, you can go straight on now. You don't need to come up here at all. I don't think there's actually anything up here, but you can go straight on. I was going to wait for the guy to come down, but I decided, you know what, let's just run it. Running hit here is so much better than waiting. So now we're in the other section. Now, right here, we're going to uh, use the pipes to climb up a wall that's behind us and kill a few guards, kill a commander, and have a great path to the next area. And um, just showing you one of the checkpoint things that is going to happen now is we're going to go through the door up here. We get through the door, there's going to be a few guards, we're going to kill one, but then we're going to tra traverse into this area again and open the same door. And you'll see that it despawns all the enemies in the room. Strange, I don't know why it does this, I'm so glad that checkpoints are like this, well these checkpoints are. I think it's great, I think it's kind of funny. But uh, I missed there, doesn't really matter because there's no alarms so far. And there's going to be one guard walking up here, there he is. And he changes, so you want to wait till he's up around here before you kill him. Otherwise, the guard below us, the heavy, will see him turn into the zombie and start shooting. And then the alarm gets tripped and just everything goes tits up. And there's where the commander is. And that's it. So we're going to be going to the next area now. And then you'll see that weird kind of checkpoint glitch thing. But uh, one thing I want to touch on is, um, since it's the last episode... Or the, yeah, the last video of this walkthrough. Uh, I want to do, maybe, it, I'm probably going to do it for like 5 minutes or something. Show a bit of gameplay, but I, I'm i going to do like a bit of a talk about this game. What I think of the game, what I think it does good, what it does bad. Um, do you know, things like that there. I don't know if I'll compare it to other Wolfensteins. I might just keep it as, as its own entity. But, um, do you know what, I just, I just think that would be a good thing, you know critiquing the game or the the game that I play uh, after I've done a walkthrough I think I should do that so um you know let me know what you think about it whenever I upload it but here it is anyways okay so if you go this way um just to the right as soon as we go up here the 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 nightmare bed is beside us so that's that there but now we're back in this room all the enemies here have despawned but the room in which we just w were all them are going to be despawned again and all the zombies that the that the guards were shooting at they're all gone too don't know why this happens but you know what ah oh well Do you know i don't think anyone's really going to complain about it but um where are we now actually i'm trying to I'm trying to think there's not there's actually not too much here so there's not i think a lot of it now is just taking your time i kind of speed up a little bit so I do because I just want to get through it quick but uh, taking your time here something that you should probably do because these zombies can be very quick and one thing here is that the zombies actually kill the heavy guy up here and this has never happened I found it very weird so it did there's a heavy up here and there's a few guards but they killed him and that's never happened before so it hasn't strange what it was um, but right now, uh, we'll just kill a few more zombies and then uh, going through the next part 
And then we're basically at the end. I think. Oh wait, no, we've got a big gauntlet room. Which is more... It is easier, it's kind of threatening at the start, but it's very easy so it is. And the hip fire is so powerful that, um, you know, you, you shouldn't have any trouble with it. Right here though, I'm having a lot of trouble because this never happened. So it didn't. Never happened at all and I was, I was actually wrong, I thought I died twice on the, the final boss but I, I only died once. So I did. Or I only restarted once because I, I, I there's something to do with the final boss which I don't get. He has one hitbox and the hitbox is his gob or his mouth. And that's where you have to hit him. And the enemy, he's, he's blind, so he is. You know, there's nothing wrong. Not, nothing wrong so far, so it's not. But the only thing is that when you go to shoot him, especially with the rocket launcher or the grenade launcher, when you go to shoot him with that, he he moves as soon as you shoot. So as soon as you shoot that grenade launcher at his mouth, he will usually move to either go to lean in to attack you. So it nearly always misses. So you kind of have to aim to miss nearly. I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to explain it. So don't. I really have no clue how to explain it. But um, what do you call it? This is the gauntlet room, and it's not hard at all. The room gives you lots of things, and all you want to do is the 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 wall that's moving. You want to stand at it and just keep uh, firing. You go for headshots. Obviously, I don't. I don't actually think you can down the enemies here. Um, with body shots. But the thing is, you you don't want to move back with the wall. If you stand a uh, kind of the star, you see a lot more enemies. Still, won't, they won't rush you till you get close. So you do have a, you know, a gap before they rush you. If they all rushed you here, this room would be fucking nearly impossible. So would. So there's a big gap before they start to rush you. And this, this fight does last about a minute. So, does, so you will be stuck here doing this for a wee while. That's if you're playing it like. But um, yeah, that, that, that is really it for this part. There's not much more to say in it. So um, I just want to know what you think I should. Or what do you think about the my idea for doing the show. The critique of the Wolfenstein game. Do you think I should? Um... Well, I will, you know what, I will do it first, and then, you know, you can tell me what you think about it. Because I, I think that it would be a good idea to, you know, after every walkthrough, make one video just analysing the game. The good, the bad, the ugly, really. Do you know, that that type of thing. But the room is there, yeah, uh, fully back. And we're going to be moving into the boss room, and there'll be a transition here, because there's a big, uh, long kind of cut scene of... Uh, you know Helga's face in your face and you're upside down and the camera's wonky and all this kind of good stuff and you know things happen so just watch it just watch it it's pretty good um, and then you'll be plopped right in the middle of the boss room so what uh, I noticed also about the boss room or not the boss room the boss in fact is the sniper rifle is very good here Two shots in the mouth. Now, just to let you know, my actually is not the best, so it's not. Two shots in the mouth with the sniper rifle will put him down to this kind of whatever motion he's doing now, or whatever trance he's doing now. This kind of fucking freakish thing. It will put him down, but that's it the first time. Now, the second time you have to hit him three times in the mouth, and then the final stage is when he, he starts putting his hands straight in the middle and doing that big sweeping motion that, I, th I think that's the final stage and I don't know how many times or how many hits it takes him so I, don't, I really have no clue but um this is this is basically the the end of the video it's you know it's over it's it was very quick and um one thing I want to touch on though is that I was I was uploading I think about a month ago I was uploading a, a soul level one for Dark Souls and I just yeah I just I just defeated the uh, ancient wine or whatever the hell his name was I can't remember the big fucking dragon boy 
I just beat him, and I don't know what's going on at the game, but the game is kind of, it's I, I, like as soon as I go to click it, there's like an error message, and I don't I don't fucking understand why. So I don't I don't know what to do. I don't want to delete the game and then have to reinstall it because I don't know if it'll work. But uh, I still want to try somehow. If if it all comes to worst, I'll just start over again with the soul level one character. And just try and do it again. It will be fucking difficult. I know that, but uh, I do want to get it up in the end. So I do. I want to get. I think I only have. I only have the the nameless king and and the firelink boss. I can't even remember what it's called. It's been so fucking long since I played that game now. But um, yeah, I will try and get that up. So I will. I'd like to get it up. You know, as of now though. I don't really have anything planned of what I'm uploading. Um, what I plan to do in the future, I now I know, I know a lot of people are hating on uh, Infinite Warfare, and but also I hated it too. I hate the way you have to purchase the Legacy Edition or whatever to get the fucking the only piece of shit game that's worth anything is COD Four. Like I, I really want that game. So I do, like I still have it for the 360 and I love it but I want it. the only reason I would get the uh, the Infinite Warfare is to play COD 4. I'll be playing COD if I if I do get it, I don't know if I will but I'm I might do. I'll be playing game battles. Uh I would probably do the game on veteran again. So I will. I remember actually in COD 4 though, the, the Mile High Club on Veteran, did it once and I never looked at that fucking mission again <laughs> because doing it on Veteran like you literally, you, you, you get down to the, just the last fucking second and you die in an instant, it was one of the hardest missions, I think everybody hated it. Well, they loved it and hated it at the same time because sometimes I've got to, I got to the end of the mission do you know where the guy is the hostage and you have to shoot the guard sometimes I got there and shot the fucking hostage and had to start it again piece of shit but um I don't I actually don't know how much damage this rocket launcher or this grenade launcher you call it rocket launcher I don't know how much damage it does so I don't I know that the, the sniper rifle does a lot of damage I think see, the amount of fucking ammo this guy takes is unreal all these grenade launchers and sniper bullets and at the end I, th I take out the shotgun I think but um, if you've never played this game I, I do recommend picking it up picking it up giving it a go it's not too bad it's <laughs> if you're going around collecting everything all the pieces playing the hardest difficulties and doing the challenge ones you might get about 8 to 10 hours out of it so it's not too bad and for the value or for the price of it that's pretty good and one other thing the music at the very end of this game is beautiful I want to find the name and I'll put it in the description if anybody wants to give it a listen but thank you very much for watching